Alright, hey guys, so um, today um, I'm going to be going up to the Thompson River, and I got some stuff um, at Walmart today, just because my parents are going there, so I decided to pick up some uh, blue foxes and stuff, well I had my parents give me some blue foxes and stuff, um, I got a uh, size 2 um, gold blue fox, and then Devin said those are really good at spinning, so maybe I'll try those out, well I wanted to try those out, yeah. And then I have the size so one um, little trout colored uh, blue fox. And then I got this three pack. This is a pretty good deal. It was like six bucks. Um, little silver one. These are all uh, size ones. There's a blue. Let's try to focus in for you guys. Blue, like a fire tiger, and the silver. So I got those. Um, I also got some tubes. I'll probably try out tubes up there. But um. Mostly be mostly be using these for bass. Um, just some tubes. Um, there's a green smoke color with red flake, and then there's these white and uh, black ones, like a shad color, with some purple, black, and green flake in there. Or no, these ones don't. Have, yeah, they have a little bit of green in there and blue and stuff. Um, those are the only ones that aren't salt impregnated. Um, then there's the uh, pumpkin colored and the green and black flake. Then there's the pearl, or just white with black flake. And then there's the dark greenish, like dark, really dark uh, green pumpkin colored. So yeah, there's the tubes. There's a bunch of jig heads in there too, different sizes. Um, these are. Just, I'm just sorting out all of my. Uh, my spinners and stuff for tonight. I'm also gonna be fly fishing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna we're gonna stop at the uh, the fly shop up there. Sorry, it's just my mom coming in. But um, then I got some polarized glasses and uh, neck strap for him um, in a camo color. And then the last thing I got was. Um, these are for bass, but I just decided to pick them up. Um, they're Rebel uh, 50, uh, real cross series, um, little crankbaits. They're really light, so I'll probably just be throwing them on like eight pound test or something like that on a spinning reel. But they're really li realistic and stuff. They look pretty nice, so I'll be trying those out probably next week. So yeah, that's everything. Uh, tubes, uh, spinners, um, crankbaits, glasses, next strap. And then when we get up to the uh, shop, I'll make a video on just, uh, flies and stuff I'm getting. I'll mostly be using streamers. I might do a little nymphing if there's uh, good riffles and stuff in the water, if the water looks good for it. But, um, yeah, guys, that's all my stuff, and uh, stay tuned. All right, hey, guys. So we're just headed up to uh, Thompson River. Um, see if I can get a shot of the river. This isn't exactly where we're fishing. It's just showing the water. Kind of see... See if we can get closer. But yeah, there's the river. It's like crystal clear. Um, scenery. Yeah, so when we start fly fishing, um, I'll just show you the stretch that we're fishing and hopefully we'll get some. Alright, hey guys, so this is the stretch that we're going to be fishing uh, right now and uh, we're going to be moving up. Um, we're on a private piece of land right now, so there should be some really good fishing. There's some pretty nice holes right in there. Um, I'll just go over what I'm using. Um, I'm using my uh, Ross uh, Flycast 2 fly reel with the Scott rod, 9 foot, 5 weight, um, 4 piece. So yeah, and I'm also using a... Here, let me focus in. Um, stone fly with the little nymph dropper size 20 so yeah um, I'm gonna fish this right here and uh, see what I can get all right hey guys so I just got this little brown it's probably about 12 13 inches here can you see him pretty well yeah nice little brown nice red dots on him and stuff mm. can you get the fish pretty good yeah okay he needs to go back in the water here all right I'm gonna give him a release so watch me here come up here you're gonna go to the 
it's going to fall in the water. Uh, yep, that's getting pretty deep. Hold on. I think I can do it right here. Are you getting this or no? Yeah. Let him go. Is it going? All right, hey guys. So I just got this another little brown by about 12 inches. It's really little, but I got him on a little uh, fire tiger colored spinner, uh, blue fox vibrax. So it's a little bit. I'm out of the water for a minute, so I had to do it back. Yeah. Alright, there you go. Alright guys, so I just got this little brown. Um, this one's probably about 12 inches, 12, 13 inches. And uh, yeah, I got him on an all-white, uh, or all-silver blue fox, uh, size 1. So, we're gonna watch that. Alright, he's good, he's just hiding now. Alright, we'll be back tomorrow. Hey, easy there, Angler. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, so um, I just got this little brown. He's puny. I thought it was a little brookie. Yeah. There he is. I just got him on a super small spinner. Just right in front of me, I watched him take it. But uh, here, we're gonna let him go. Okay. I'm gonna have to do it how I did it last time because it's too deep. But uh. Okay, you swim off. Alright guys, I'll get back to right, getting more. So I just got this probably 14 inch brown. I got him on the fly rod too. Finally first trout on the fly rod. Here. There he is. It's a good little brown. Hey. Fought really hard. And I uh um oh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, he uh he took me under a rock. So I had to walk all the way out and I had to uh Are you on the fish? Yeah. Um I had to walk all the way over and I had to lift up the rock so he'd come on down. And then he went under my legs and then I had to net him twice. So, uh, yeah, there he is. I'm gonna show him to my cousin down there real quick. Drew! I'm gonna say maybe 13, 14. He's bigger than my last ones. Yeah, so. Hold on. I wanna see if I try to measure and tape with him real quick. You should weigh him. Nah, I don't have a scale with him. No. Oh, wait, I do have measuring tape. All right, we'll measure him right now. Is it still going? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, I'm gonna be sitting in the water now. Forget it. I don't care. I'm gonna see. Oh yeah, he's he's actually a lot smaller than I thought. Oh, big. He's about 13 inches. Like I said. Yeah. 13, 14. All right, here. Hold on. Let me put this back. All right, guys, we'll get a release for you. Here, poke, focus it on the, on the fish. Watch. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Is it still gone? Mm-hmm. Here he goes. All right, so Scott just got one on a green nymph. Here, I'll walk out in the water a little bit. Just a wee little baby. <laughs> He's probably about how many inches? I think eight, nine? Yeah. Ah. Green Copper John. Yep, Green Copper John. Uh, with just a strike indicator, no stone fly or anything like that. One small little split shot. Oh, one little split shot on it. But that's his uh, third one. He's already got, he got two in a row right here. But uh, yeah, it's working. If he gets another one, I'll probably switch to that color too. But alright guys, we'll be back Alright, hey guys, so I just got this super little brown, my first cast back. Um, with a uh, little spinner. Um, I didn't get this one on the fly rod, but he's puny. Look at him. Alright, uh, I'm gonna
gonna let him go. He's barely been out of the water for a couple seconds, so I can just throw him back. When they're bigger and they're um, out of water longer, then that's when you need to just revive them. But, all right, guys. Bye. All right, guys. I didn't even get to walk over to my rod yet, and he got another one. I'm officially switching to a green nymph. Another decent one. It's a pretty good size. Do not drop that phone. I know. That's a good one. Are you going to net him or what? The browns up here are getting a little bit bigger, huh? Yeah, they seem to be. The, the guys down there were getting some decent size, like 16 inches. Let me look at him one more time. Nice brown. Alright guys, well, hopefully I can get to my rod before he gets another one. Alright guys, so I just got another little brown. Um, all we're catching is browns today. Everybody else is walking back, but uh, I'm going to stay here and spin fish some more. Alright, uh, first cast. Spinners are working great. Alright, there he goes. And I'll probably get a lot more. Hopefully I'm going to go down there and get some bigger ones. Um, Alright guys, get back more. Alright guys, just got another little dink. Um, he's really little. I got him right behind that big boulder. If you can see that. But, um, here. I, I can just throw him back. He's little. Alright, and uh, I'll be back with some bigger ones. I'm not going to record anything else but bigger ones now. Alright, hey guys, so I got about six more, and then I got this one. He's pretty nice. He's probably about a good 12, 13 inches. Maybe, yeah, about 12, 13 inches. Got him on a little spinner again. That's all I'm really using right now. But we'll release him. All right, there he is right there. I don't know if you can see that, but he's just sitting right there, kind of reviving. All right, he's good now. All right, well, I'll get back if I get any more bigger ones. All right, guys, so I just got another one. Probably about the same, 12 inches, 12, 13. We're not catching big ones at all. Like, these aren't normally what size fish I catch. I usually catch, like, trout-wise. We usually catch, like, 16 to 18, 19 inches, but... We'll release him now. All right, he's good to go. All right, well, I'll get back for more. All right, uh, Scott, Scott just got this native rainbow. It's super I'm pretty, pretty sure it's a rainbow. It's pretty as it is. No, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a native. It's a good looking bow. How big do you think that is? Uh, he's not, maybe 14, 15 12 inches. inches. Really? 12, 13. Yeah, 12. Yeah, he's real, real, oh, oh, real pretty cool. though. There he goes. You can get him with your hand. Yeah, you can just grab him. Oh, I, I want him to get away. Nice. You got, got a picture, right? Yeah. You got it? No, I got video. You caught right. him underneath the, these uh, willows? No. I, I All right, well, we'll get back to more. So I just got another uh, little brown, probably about 10 inches on the fly rod. Um, there he is here. Oh, the same one you got yesterday. It's not the same one I got yesterday. Can't, there's a lot of fish in here, it's not just one fish. Alright, look. So, did you stop it or is it still going? No, it's still going. Alright, uh, I was using this little uh, green, dark green beadhead nymph with a little split shot and then a strike indicator. But, um, here. Let's release him. Bye, Mr. Brown. Alright, there we go. Alright, we'll be back tomorrow. Alright, hey guys, so I just got this probably 14 inch brown. And, uh, here. There he is again. Really, biggest one so far. Um, my little cousin, for his first two fish, he caught a 14 inch rainbow. It's a lot taller than this. And, um, he got a 16 inch brown, so. And here, though, there's a lot of really small fish. I got them on a gold uh, size 2 uh, Blue Fox Vibrax, but to show them one more time. 